Okay, so, and we are down to the last part of our discussion of lesson one. And for today, so let's talk about the kaiwa hyogen. No? When you say kaiwa is conversation and yogen are more like phrases, words, or responses. So meaning to say responses during conversation. And we have and we have here three um, um, kaiwa hyogen. The first one is the suffix sang, which means Mr. or Miss. The suffix chan, uh, you, that used to attach to a child's name, both girl or, or boy, and the suffix gene, which is the national of. Now, let's try to look at the examples. Here is Mr. Tanaka. Kochirawa Tanaka Sang Des. So basically, Sang does not have any gender, no? Particularly, if you're going to attach it to the last name. So, hindi natin mawawakaro yun. However, see, it will always depend on the person you are talking to. Okay, so sang is normally for formal conversations. However, chan naman is a suffix used kapag mga bata lang naman. Tato Eba, where is Yuki? Yuki chang wa doko deska. It doesn't matter kung babae or lalaki. No? Chang can be used both. And then jin is a national of. We basically attach jin sa name ng country. Tato Eba, I am a Filipino. Watashi wa Philippine jin des. So Philippine is from the Philippines. The, uh, these are useful kaiwa yogen na when you go to Japan, somehow you can use them for your conversation or kaiwa. And then, so we're uh, on the last part. So meron tayong matome or tinatawag na summary. These are the topics or lessons that we learned or discussed in lesson one. Okay, so the first one is the noun one one noun to this pattern for affirmative sentences. The noun one one noun to jari masen pattern for the negative sentences. We also have the noun one wa noun to deska, which means yes or no questions. Noun one wa interrogative deska, which means um, using question words. Also, the use of particle mo and particle mo. I hope uh, marami tayong natutunan or uh, naitindihan sa lesson one. Because of that, um, we are down to the last activity, which is translation. So let us try to translate the following sentences in English. Okay. Now let us try to read number one. Ichibang, ikimasho. Tanaka kun wa gakseja arimasen. Correct. Tanaka is not a student because of ja arimasen. Nibang, sensei wa dare deska. Correct. Who is the teacher? Because dare is who. Sambang. Anata wa nansai desu ka? Correct. How old are you? Because nansai is how old. Yombang. Sumizu san wa BPI no ginko in desu ka? Correct. Is Mr. Smith? Sumizu. Is Mr. Smith a bank employee of BPI? Gobang. Jory sang wa LBG no gak seja rimasen. Correct. Um, Miss Jolly is not a student of LBG. Roku. Karina sang wa oikutsu desu ka? Yes. How old is Karina? Or how old is Miss Karina? Oikutsu and Nansai are the same. However, oikutsu is used more formally. Ang nansai kasi uh, in an everyday conversation, pwede siya. Okay, nanabang. LPU wa daigaku des. Correct, LPU is a university. Okay, hachibang. UP wa biyuin des ka. Correct. Is UP a hospital? Number nine, shitsurei desu ga onamai wa? Correct. Excuse me, but may I know your name? And number ten, kochira wa sato sang desu. Yes, um, here is Miss Sato. So this is actually the culminating activity of lesson one. And I do hope na kapag nabasa nyo siya, may intindihan nyo siya. Since... Uh, Lahat ng ating patterns in lesson 1 ay ginamit natin here. Alright, and then that's the end of lesson 1.